Hey guys, Mudman1959 here. I don't know how many of you guys out there got the Spectrum DX6, but uh, I purchased mine last year. Come find out that this thing's a battery hog. It likes to eat the AA batteries. Well, Spectrum just recently re uh, released a lithium ion battery. This battery is a 2000 milliamp hour with a 500 milliamp charge rate. It's a two cell, 7.4 volts. And yes, the transmitter does accept it. I also purchased an international charger from Spectrum. The battery alone is about 35 bucks. The charger is about 20. So all in all, got about $50 wrapped up into this mod. So, we're going to get rid of battery too low. Let's see here. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to shut it off. What I've done already is I've went in and set it for the lithium ion battery. Uh, it changes the battery voltage settings for the battery warning. So let's get started on this, so let's change it out. Let's see what we've got in here. Alright. We have a 2000 milliamp lithium ion battery from Spectrum, 7.4 volts, with a charge jack built into the back of it. Standard plug, plugs into the radio. Charger, 12 volts at 0.5 amps, which would be 500 milliamps. Comes with instructions and several adapters. And that's the one I need right there. Real easy to install. Just slides on, clips on. So there I am, all set up for U.S. operations. Let's go ahead and change this battery out. So I open up the case, take the back off. You'll notice on the case, it already comes, or the back cover comes equipped with a hole that mounts right over that battery for charging. Your option, you can leave the cover on or take it off. I've left it on. Just got to be careful you don't lose it. First thing, let's remove this uh, foam that's right here beside the battery pack. Take the battery pack and the batteries out. Unclip it, just as I've done there. So we're going to get rid of that battery pack and we're going to put this one in. All right, one thing I did notice when I started this earlier is that it didn't want to fit. Couldn't get the cover on it. Why? Well, Lo and behold, up underneath here is another piece of foam. Take that foam and set it with the other piece of foam. Now, for the fun part, there's this battery clip in here. It can be a challenge. But if you're careful with a screwdriver, you can get it in there. Just don't short the terminals. Alright. Now, once again with a screwdriver, carefully feed the battery feeds up into the slot above the battery where the, where the connector is at. And it does fit eventually. There we go. Battery's in place. Cover snaps on. And like I said, up under here, if you look, nice little charging hole, right where it goes. All right, let's turn it on and let's see what she says now. Ooh, it's working. As you can see, roughly seven and a half volts, 7.7 .7 volts. I've had it as high as 8.4 under full charge. And so far, that I've only charged it once since I've had it. I've been flying it for, oh, about three weeks now. 
on and off lights and it seems to be doing real good. Got the voltage set up for the low voltage warning at I think it's right at 6.2 volts is what it sets it at. So it hasn't got down there yet but getting there soon. Anyways, thought you guys might like this. This is the Spectrum lithium ion transmitter battery modification for the Spectrum DX6. This is Mudman1959 signing off guys. Thanks for watching.